Hello, welcome to my channel. So, today I'm going to be talking about all the lip products that I went through and tried and everything. You guys know I did a palette series, you know I did um, the other series. So, I did about like, last time I did eye palettes. Show you guys all the eye palettes that I went through and what I liked about it, what I didn't like, what became my favorite and everything. So, I just tried out so many products lately that I kind of had to break it down in a way. Um, so, yeah. I got some different videos coming up soon, too, because I'm trying to figure out what to post this month. I have some ideals. So, I figured, well, now I would just do this and get this done. And then we'll have my empties and my like and not likes for the month. And all that jazz and the rest of the stuff that I've been trying and need to talk about. and tell you guys. So, let's go ahead. Focus on the first thing that I promised with this right here. This is something new that I recently got. I did a full face using some new drugstore products. I'll link that above in the card just in case you guys miss it. But I've been weighing this at work and all that. I told you guys that the way for me to test all this out is by weighing this stuff from work and everything to see how long weigh it, do I feel good, and things like that. So um, this is called the Elf Sun Boss Gloss with Burnt. Bronze Red Fit SPF 25 it is a beautiful like color. I only got one shake. I didn't know if I'm gonna like it or anything like that. The first thing I noticed is that it does have a little bit of sunscreen smell, but it's not overwhelming at all. It's not one of those like sunscreens you wear on your face, and you could definitely know it's that type of sunscreen. This is more like less sunscreen, but more coconut flavor type thing it's you know it's too much and everything and again it's a non-sticky product so it just works really well and then I have this shade which again is more of a nudie brown and again you can see it has that gloss on it and everything so these are not as they're a little bit more meltier than the Cusure the Tarte one a little less melty on other brands I've tried. So, yeah. Okay. Um, looks. Let's talk about all these right here. I, when I did a full fish using Essence, I ordered a bunch of lip products. And a lot of them came in, like, a, a set. Which, personally, in my opinion, I shouldn't have done that. I should have just... Yeah. So, yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but anyways, my bad. Okay, I think I got all the essence. I'm going to dump it out. Okay. So, yeah, these are called the Juicy Balm Lip Oils. Now, first of all, these are really clear. They don't have any color for it on them, even though they look like they do. But these, to me, are very oily. Like, they really, they smell good, but they are so freaking oily. Like, they put more oil than regular lip gloss oils. Lip oils. See, some of them has color, and some of them don't. The smell is amazing. But truthfully, I didn't need all these, and I didn't need the whole set. I could just use one. And plus, you had to keep dipping them in, because they have those really tiny applicators in here. So, they're not my favorite lip oils. I mean, I like the Maybelline one. They have the other kinds that I've tried. Other lip oils, that is really good. But these are... I'll still use them, but I'm not going to be like, oh, I need them, and I, you know, wish for them often and everything, so yeah. The one that I actually really do like is this one by Bath & Bioworks. I didn't know that Bath & Bioworks actually sold any type of makeup product, and when I did my last order, I did a huge order for the fall, for the spring and summer stuff, I decided to try the Toasted Cherry Donut Lip Gloss, first of all actually so cute it's all hearts 
and the smell oh my god it smells like donuts like those not artificial donuts so notice like fresh baked donuts type thing and I really actually do like this gloss and you can see it's right there it's clear all that but oh this has became my favorite gloss I've used this so much times to keep my lips very juicy very um, moisturizing everything is not sticky and lasts for quite a while so I really do like that another lip gloss is this one by LA color when I did my uh, full face using the dollar 25 makeup that I bought and this was part of it this has to call wall ball so this is a back the older days when they used to use wall ball said the dofer and this again is a very clear gloss the smell is kind of well it's supposed to be cantaloupe it smells very artificial cantaloupe it smells mm, not a good cantaloupe it's kind of like when you get the cantaloupe and you have to use it for two or three days and you start to notice that sometimes it starts to smell less fresh more used type thing the smell is not good on this so i really don't like it i like the gloss again very smooth non-sticky type gloss but the smell just overwhelm overwhelm now i'm going to save the most one that I do not like at all that Lily made me be like don't no no I don't ever want to put that on my lips again okay this one right here the AO studio this is supposed to be a bombshell so um, bunny is supposed to be kind of like a hydrating lip balm type thing this is really drying this I'm not keeping because even though the color is very very beautiful I put it on and my lips are really dry you got the color but you don't got the moisturizing it's supposed to be a bombshell so it's supposed to help you know have that core in the middle for the color and then around it to help moisturizing this is bad this is not moisturized whatsoever this is one that I'm definitely not going to be keeping at all these two Again, not really keeping, even though I did a whole, did most collection of the Hard Candy Girl Scouts, um, thin, um, what are they called? Velvet Smooth Lip Markers. I got two shade, I got Thin Mints, and then I got the, um, Tropeful one. I already told you guys the story about this and why I got it and why I got the collection when I talked about the pellets and everything in that, um, video. Even though it smells really good, these are not the best. They tend to disappear a lot, and they're really, really too creamy for me. And this is shade. They just come out very easily. I need something, if they're going to be staying on, and if I'm going to do a lip product, it has to stay on, not disappear, keep my lips moisturized, and things like that. And this is another product that I just, I can't do. It just, like I said, too creamy, doesn't stay on, it just not really was a good collection from this. I like the palettes a little bit more than I do the lip product, the lip oil is good. Um, I think that's the only thing I got from it. Oh, the um, primer was mm, okay, didn't, eh, mm, yeah. But really, the only thing that really worked for me was the palette and the lip oil. The Thin Mint Lip Oil. Even though it was, they only had lip oil, they just flavor it with the Thin Mint Cookie smell. But that was good. And that's good and all that. And these are limited edition. So, um, yeah, it was a good collection. But it just didn't wow me, didn't make me want to keep everything. And they just... Some parts that was good, some parts that just really didn't work. The next thing is this right here by Pixie. This I used a lot too. This is called the um, 
as good as the elf one and all the other ones that I tried and decided to keep. Then I decided to do the newish, um, the call lip sticks, the new ones from CoverGirl. Again, very beautiful. I really do like the color. They give a little shine, the little moisturizing. I got mine in Dolly Kiss and in Dream Pink. And these are perfect. Now, when I said that, like, like I said, when during the summer and all that winter, when it's really hot and really cold, I prefer liquid lipsticks. I lip glosses. I even lip oils. If I'm gonna do a lipstick, it has to be one of the satin lipsticks or the creamy lipsticks, or the creamy lip, lip liquid lipsticks. Something that will give me, you know, that um, shine, that hydration, and everything. It does not dry my lips out to where it looks cracked or all that so this is really good I really do like it the only problem I had with it when I got one of these I did order from ultra and I will link all the um, websites that I got these from Elf I know I could do Pixar I know I could do that my work and Coverball and ultra I could do that because a lot of this is on ultra the elf and the Coverball stuff is um, Pixie would be a separate one but yeah I'll link a lot of those websites down below just in case you guys are interested in anything you see or if you like what I say and hear about and all that. Now, this lip product. I, I don't know why when I did my try on with this and I did a whole bunch of ultra products that I bought a while back and I ordered and I got the collection from the Flamingo collection and all that. I didn't realize that this lip product would burn the hell out of my lips. Just saying. And when I read it, I understood why. This is called the Paradise Pout Lip Plumping Gloss. The reason it back in this case, because I've never put it back on. It's just saying. <laughs> I thought, ooh, cute. Lovely cute. Part of the collection and everything. And all that. And I'm like, plumping lip gloss. Okay, I was thinking more Maybelline. I was thinking the Tarte ones. I was thinking anything but what it was. <laughs> so I got the shade Tropical because it's the only shade they had with the collection. Love the palette. Love the blush. That I would like this. <laughs> I'm not a good part of my lips because I know what I feel like nice orange shade for the summer but first of all it smells like you got pepper peppers like really hot peppers in this then when I put it on it was fine for a few seconds then it started to burn like heat hot burning lips and it reminded me of the lip plumpy product from Too Faced, the lip injections. Oh, oh. Then I looked the box. I'm like, why the hell is it? I need my lips this bad. I immediately took it off. Then I realized, welcome to Electric Paradise, collected inspired by Vibrate Andrew Vacation City from Kiss Sun Kiss Beaches to Sizzling Summer Nights. A collection embrace the essence of your dream getaway and leash your inner glow. They actually still have it on there on ultra so <laughs> um if you really want to set your lips on fire and make it really fluffy you're gonna want to get this only ten dollars so that's what it look like so <laughs> they do actually have three different colors they have a pink a brown and then the orange one that i got But let's just say that when I put that on, I am not ever one to take off the lip product till that. And when I did the um, Too Faced lip injection, I did try one of those. 
even the lip pen, the lip pencil. God, no. Had to take it off. But yeah, it will burn. I don't know what they have in it, but this one they had the um, but anyways yeah this became my least favorite lip product and all of that and it really feel like your lips are being burned first it was like a nice cool mitt nice cooling kind of like the um, buxom plumping shots and all that and those I can actually handle. They give a little plumping, a little pink, a little, you know, tingle. But this is beyond tingle. This was beyond. And just for the sake of the video, I will show you. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to automatically wipe this off because of that. So, fair warning. Don't be shocked. I'm in pain. First of all, the color is beautiful. Put it on. And instantly, you feel the pain. That's the pain you feel. That's the pain. It's like you're being stabbed by thousands and thousands and thousands of knives. Oh, oh, you could definitely, and I thought, okay, maybe I could handle it. Maybe it'll just go away after a while and stuff like that. But truthfully, no, 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 it doesn't. It's an instant, oh, ooh, even take it off. It's like, oh, oil on. Ah. Like, even take it off, it still burns. Oh, I don't know what the heck they put in this, but they put something extremely hot. But, yeah, that's everything I try when it comes to lip products and all of that. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys like anything, like I said, I will put it down below in the description box. The Ultra website, the Bath the Bio Works, um, the Pixie, I think LA Color could do it too. But I know Ultra has a lot of the Elfs and um, CoverGirl and things like that on there. So they got a lot of drugstore. But AD, not drugstore. They should have this too. Um, I will also put the website down for it and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. That way I know I upload all the time. Three times a week and all that. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye.